Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Today in this news mashup video, we have two exciting topics to discuss. For one, two huge RPGs were revealed at this year's Microsoft E3 presentation and they're both coming to the Nintendo Switch. But first, we have to talk about GameStop because they have begun to celebrate the Zelda 35th anniversary in their stores. That's right everyone, right now at your local supporting GameStop, if you spend at least $30 or more on Zelda products or trade towards a Nintendo Switch system, you will receive this free double-sided poster celebrating the Zelda 35th anniversary. Now, if you all remember last week, we reported on this Zelda poster because it was floating all around the internet and it was speculation that this poster was connected to some type of Zelda collection coming to the Nintendo Switch. Well, it's not. It's just if you spend at least $30 or trade towards a Nintendo Switch system at GameStop, you will receive this free poster. It's unknown at this point how long this promotion will last, so act now before these posters run out. Alright, let's move on to the final topic of this video and it involves two huge RPGs that were revealed at this year's Xbox and Bethesda game showcase for E3. Both Eden Chronicle Rising releasing in 2022 and Eden Chronicle Hunter Heroes releasing in 2023 both received their first gameplay trailers and these games look phenomenal. Now it wasn't revealed during this presentation that these games are coming to the Nintendo Switch but Back in 2020 when both games were first announced, the developers of this game revealed to NintendoEverything.com that both of these games will be released on the Nintendo Switch console. Here's what they had to say. Development on Eden Chronicle is expected to take more than two years. Rabbit and Bear Studios explained that, at least for now, it's difficult to know where Nintendo will be from a hardware perspective. The campaign page will mention that the team is focusing on next-gen consoles in hopes there is new hardware from Nintendo, but in the event that there isn't, they'll look into implementing things like texture adjustments for releasing the game on the Switch. Bare minimum, we will get the game on some Nintendo console, Rabbit and Bear Studios said. So they will have it. Both of these games are coming to the Nintendo Switch console, and I'm guessing since both are releasing in 2022 and 2023, Rabbit and Bear Studios wants to hold off to see if Nintendo announces some type of new system, and if they don't, they'll put both games on the Nintendo Switch console. I'm really surprised that a lot of people aren't talking about these games because they look fantastic. Now, both of these games are town building RPGs and they don't look boring whatsoever. There's tons of action that were showcased in this gameplay trailer and I'm really digging the art style of this game. It has that 2D HD look the same as Octopath Traveler and that new Dragon Quest HD 2D remake. Man, if this is the direction that these new 2D RPGs are going in, I'm all for it because these visuals are really pleasing to the eye. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. The cost is only 99 cents per month and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.